Hi there folks, Tim Robson here. I hope you're all well. Bringing you the view from my first morning here on Mull. Got here about 6 p.m. last night. Just set up, ate and decompressed and then went to sleep. So this is the beginning of my video. Is that amazing sky? And I'm waiting for coffee. It's about 8 a.m. Crisp, fresh morning. It is something, really, really is a spectacular place. We just went for a swim in the sea, didn't we, Jack? It was awesome. Real cold and fresh. Just had a big, massive hike way up the tops, right over the, all the headlands, trying to find other beaches. And I was really, really warm on the way back, so I dived in the sea. <laughs> well, we've just been up, me and Tom, to pay for the second night on the beach camping to the old woman who has it donates the money to the lifeboat see the ship right out there Tom oh, yes. that massive saga cruise liner that we saw went way way out past seemed to go right the way around the Isle of Jura yeah yeah Maybe it's a whiskey cruise. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Up to the Outer Hebrides. Second night on the beach. The wind's going to pick up quite a bit tonight. So we've moved the car around the front. Hopefully that'll break up or block some of the wind. Because it's going to be a heavy one. I'm just, uh, just cooking pasta for everybody. I've got spaghetti. Jar of homemade pesto. Nice. Really enjoying using this transit. working nicely it's um, about 4 a.m. and this is the storm that we were all warned about I just went out to pee and Tom and Sally's tent is flat and they're sleeping in the car but my little Coleman is uh, riding it out pretty well so far there's some severe gusts it's like uh, say like a constant 15 gusting 30 35 We're so exposed on the coast though I'm glad we parked the car the back end of the car is kind of there and then it goes that way unfortunately it didn't give <laughs> Tom and Sally any protection <clears throat> so this is us really just chilling out 
riding the storm out. So this is what a coastal storm camp looks like. <laughs> I, uh, we just woke up, it's 9am and this is happening. The tent is coping so well, I'm really really happy with it, it could have died, Tom and Sally's tent is dead, the pole in the centre snapped. I don't even know if you can hear me there because of the wind. Day three and things are turning is what I said. Well, that was that was intense. We've survived. Tom and Sally are just taking their destroyed tent down. The centre pole actually snapped in half in the wind. I'm just out having a little look at the Look at the waves because they're really impressive. There's the beach dog. Hi Max. Hi. Max. <laughs> Big fluffy friendly dog. It's insane. Last night was crazy. Well, it's been an extreme, extreme day of weather. It's starting to calm off now. I'm just up at my cousin's, just in the back of all the fish and stuff, making some food. I'm gonna fry some onions and then I'm gonna cook up some hot dogs and have them with fried onions and cheese and stuff. So I'm starving. Everybody's in the back shipping container, sheltering from the weather. Good morning, everyone. It's day. Four. and uh, I've had an amazing sleep I've just woken up mm. it's brew time again <laughs> this video is going to just end up being lots of me making a brew in a tent ah, I'll get out and show you outside in a bit we uh, turned the tent round last night to face the wind it seems to take the wind a lot better front ways on. Making Nicola a cup of tea and then I'm gonna put my coffee pot on, which is slowly falling to pieces and crumbling. And get myself a coffee. Hi, as you can see, we turned the tent round to face the wind. So it started to come in from the west last night. carried this picnic bench from over there so I can sit and enjoy my coffee. There we go, that's just, just leaving the beach now. All packed up and away. Probably come back down later on though if the weather clears out for uh, 
a bit more of a clamber around. Still a good few spots I want to see before we go on Monday. Bit of an upgrade from the tents there, Tom. Right, not so bad, eh? This is us for the next two nights before we ship off out. Just been doing a little spot fishing off this rock with my old fishing kit from when I was a kid. I think the tide's starting to turn now, though, so I'm going to go back. There's the girls over there. Beautiful spot of coastline, this. This is our Dallanish beach. Having a walk, it's a nice sunny day, just a few clouds around. <coughs> you tell it, <coughs> you tell the scene. Well, we just had an awesome little drive down one of the wildest roads this end of the island. This is Knockvolligan Beach. One of the beaches at Knockvolligan anyway. We just had a, a wild trek down this path. Sorry about the wind noise everybody, I'm just doing this all on my phone because lugging my camera around on all these rocks it's not great now it's low tide I'm crossing the land bridge to the island of Erid that's Mull, and this is usually sea, and this is Erid, which is a different island, has its own little community on it. I've never actually managed to get across before. Just walked from the over there while the sea is out. It'd be interesting to come and have a little spy at what there is. I've just got up to the top here, come from down there. That little uh, bay goes all the way around, going to that beach.
everyone. That's us away. Three nights in the caravan went far too quickly. It was so nice. Back up to uh, back up to Craignure, over the boat to Oban, and away home. I'm gonna miss it. Hope you all enjoyed it anyway, folks. I know it's been a bit of a random one, but. Yeah.